As crime continues to surge, public safety is emerging as a top priority in our region. Part of that effort is led by our local criminal justice system. And joining us this morning is Prince George's County's top prosecutor, State's Attorney Aisha Braveboy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you. So I got to ask, what do you say to people who call the criminal justice system too soft on violent crime? Uh, well, let me just say that that doesn't take place here in Prince George's County. Um, recently, we uh, achieved this 20 year sentence against a carjacker. We routinely in Prince George's County uh, hold those who commit the most serious and violent offenses, including murder, accountable. And we seek life sentences and uh, uh, other sentences that are very harsh. Uh, but we care about our community. People deserve to live in a safe community, and we will do our part uh, to send that message. And I'm hearing a lot about restorative justice. How does that fit into the picture uh, when looking at Prince George's County? Sure. Well, after accountability, after um, the appropriate punishment has been delivered, uh, there should be an opportunity for restoration in our justice system. And so uh, we strongly believe that individuals uh, should uh, be able to, you know, get an education, uh, to get job training, uh, to come back to our communities whole and better. But that's only after they have been held accountable, taken responsibility for their actions, and uh, been given the appropriate consequences. All right, thank you for that. And let's talk about equity and justice. That's the event that's coming up in a few days. Yes, I'm super excited about it. It's an opportunity for me to talk about the work that each of the units of my office uh, does every single day in efforts to uh, support the people of Prince George's County. So I'll have an opportunity to really brag about some of the individuals in my office who are standouts, um, as well as just the overall work of the office. Uh, we have made made really great strides in areas uh, like carjacking, prosecutions, gun prosecutions, and of course homicides, and in particular our special victims and family violence crimes. I mean, those crimes are probably the most sensitive and difficult and heart-wrenching. Many times those crimes deal with children. This is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and so we will be highlighting uh, several cases where we achieve justice for our most vulnerable victims in our county. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to sharing the work of my office uh, with everyone in Prince George's County, and then also engaging in a dialogue with other uh, justice partners, including Sheriff John Carr, uh, Deputy Chief uh, James McCreary, uh, as well as um, our partners in the legislature who have created laws that impact the justice system. So it's going to be a really exciting event, and it's open and uh, free to the public. Those are really some very important issues there. Thank you so much, Aisha Braveboy, for joining us on DC News Now. Thank you.